Hey, what's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. My name's Jason, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, that would be absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, as you see, the FX6 is parked up right here. I'm making a whole bunch of other videos, but uh, recording on the A7 III, and this is the issue with the new update for Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 just gets worse and worse. You guys know how much Premiere Pro uh, does tend to ruin your workflow when it crashes and does all these weird quirks. And this is what I mean about Premiere Pro 2022. You are killing my, this is even on this video that we're making right now. This is, <laughs> wow. This is another one. This is the quick two minute video for you guys on a Tuesday. You could call it a two minute Tuesday if you really wanted to, but uh, yeah, stay tuned, share this around, comment below if you have any other quirks uh, or any other tips in Premiere Pro 2022, because I know there are a lot of people will be watching this and be like, thank you, thank you, thank you. But let's get into this quick little video. So all you need to do is to right click on the footage, go to modify, then interpret footage. Now go right down to the bottom there where it says color space override. Now you need to go into that and click rec 709. So this is the color space that you most likely will be working in and then boom, it will fix the footage and make it look so good. No, there's not a problem with your camera. There's not a problem with your dynamic range. That's what I thought I was like, I swear the A7 III has better dynamic range than this. Why is it blowing out my image? I was racking my head, going through all the settings and I could not find what the problem was. I thought I put a lot over the top. And yeah, thank you to Flynn Graham, one of my mates uh, on Instagram. He just sent me a DM and he's like, bro, check this out. Read a few Adobe forums and this is the problem that people are having. So share this around because there may be other people that are having this problem. So give this video a share, tell people to watch this video. Uh, I'm not sure what other cameras this is happening to, but this is happening on my a7 III. Uh, didn't have any issues because I'm shooting on the FX6 with a lot of my commercial work. But when I did bring in an a7 III footage, I was like, I'm sure the a7 III isn't this bad compared to the FX6, but no, it's Premiere Pro, it's Adobe doing its thing. Uh, I'm too in deep with Premiere Pro to switch to DaVinci. I mean, I love, love, love color grading on DaVinci, but Premiere Pro is where my heart's at when it comes to editing and my workflow. But uh, yeah, like this video if you could, uh, give it a subscribe if you already haven't subscribed to my channel. Like I said, share this around, comment uh, if you've had any other issues, maybe this may actually help someone if you, there's any other issues or quirks that you've found with Premiere Pro 2022. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, let's get it.